Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. Before I begin the video, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel for more videos. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install um, OpenVAS, uh, an open source vulnerability scanner. In my previous video, I have demonstrated how to install and use Nesis Essential, which is a free version for vulnerability scanning. OpenVAS is 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 a is a completely open source, um, which is being provided by the Greenbone Security. They also have commercialized it recently. So the first thing that I would like to recommend you do is run apt get update. I've already done it. All right, so the next thing is that before we used to install OpenVAS by using apt-get install OpenVAS, but nowadays we have to install it by using apt-get install gvm y. All right, so once you're done with this, uh, we need to start the setup. So gvm dash set setup. You can see here, um, in the beginning, it has created a user with the password. I may have to scroll up to get that. Now, this thing is going to take some time, so I'm going to pause the video, and once the setup is done, I'll start the recording again. All right, guys, so it took approximately 30 minutes for me to uh, complete the setup for OpenVAS. <clears throat> so you can see here that it has created an admin and then it also has created a password. Uh, you can copy it. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is to just make sure that the setup is, uh, you know, correctly installed the uh, OpenVAS. So you can use gbm-check-setup to check the setup. So far, everything looks good. GVM services active. All right, so most probably everything is okay, except we got some warnings. Uh, but let's try to now see if it's working. So you have to open the browser. Just like the Nesis, it has a web interface. Uh, the difference is that the GVM works on port 9392. One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one. So you can see here eight eight three four is for Nesis. So nine three nine two is for open mass. So the similar kind of warning you will get like you get in the Nesis, it's a certificate warning, but since we know that we are trying to access the GVM web interface, so you can go ahead and accept the risk. Now the username is admin and the password was displayed in the terminal. All right, so here you can see 
uh, this is the dashboard uh, for the open mass. The scans, the assets uh, means the hosts. If you already have the hosts or you did the scan previously, uh, let me just check something. In the administration, you can go ahead and change the password for the users that you have created. So the next thing is the scan. So here you can see the tasks, reports, results, vulnerabilities. So since we haven't done any scan so far, um, so we're going to start a new scan. So you can point your mouse here and on this uh, new task. Once we click on the new task, you can uh, give it a name. So we're going to call it range scan. Now for the target, you can add a new target. Currently, uh, we don't have any target listed. So I'm going to call it uh, Linux OS, right? And then the host, just like in the Nisus, you can provide the host manually. If you have a text file, you can point it to the text file. If you want to exclude some host, you can enter the, the host that should be excluded from the scan. Um, I'm going to scan 192.168.36.147. Um, rest of the things should be okay. Right. I'm getting an error here. I'm not sure why I'm getting this error. Failed to find the config. All right, so the problem is that uh, the reason I was getting the error is that uh, we still, uh, the update is in progress. So the SCAP cert, the GVM data feed is still in progress. So once this is completed, I'm going to run the scan. So we have to it for some time. So where you can find this feed status is in the admin. In the admin, you can see here feed status, right? So there you can go and uh, check the status of the feeds. Once you see the status as current, then we can start the scan. Let's just wait for a while and uh, let the feeds uh, be completed and then we'll come back, right? All right, guys. So let me just show you the feed status. So the NVT CVs and everything is now updated. So we can go ahead and start the scan. So if you go to the scans, you can select the new task and call it task two. Or scan two, for example. And then you can select the target, which I already added the Linux OS. If you want to add a new target, you can just cl click here on this sign and add a new host, right? So currently I'm scanning the Linux OS. And then if you want to scan it uh, once, you can check this. Uh, if you want to schedule it, you can click this one and you'll have the option to create a new schedule that how often you want to scan this particular asset, right? Uh, most of the things you can leave it to default. So, um, yeah, so here in the scanner option, you have the CV scan or the OpenVAS default scan. So we're going to go with the OpenVAS default scan, scan config fast, 
MT discovery, host discovery, uh, system discovery, so fast, full and fast scan. And we can save this scan, right? So now you can see I have two scans in the list. I'm going to go ahead and run the scan number two here. You can see the play button here on the right side. So once I start the play button, it is going to start scanning. And once the scan is completed, we will be able to see the report, right? So let's wait for the scan to complete and then we'll get back to it. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> so the scan is now complete, as you can see here. So you have to be patient because it takes some time. So we can look at by clicking on the report. Now here you can see the summary that you have six high vulnerabilities, 13 medium, three low, and then you have log and false positives, right? So this is kind of a summary. Okay. And let's go back and let's click on it. Now here, uh, basically it shows the complete report. So you have the information where you have the task name, uh, the time, the duration, almost 30 minutes uh, results. So here you can see the results. Uh, you have high vulnerabilities. So for instance, you have the first vulnerability related to a um, FTP application called Pro FTPD. And then you have the uh, HTTP dangerous methods. You have RC vulnerability. You have SSH brute force logins. And you, know, you can go into the details of uh, each one of them. Now, the idea behind the vulnerability scanning is that once you are done with the reconnaissance, you're done with the uh, scanning like NMAP, finding open ports, uh, services running. The next stage is always to go for the vulnerability scanning to find out exactly if there are any vulnerabilities that can be uh, that can be exploited. Now, you can go ahead and uh, go on the internet and check for these vulnerabilities, how they can be exploited. You can also see the CVE details. So, uh, so the uh, the CVE is mentioned here for each of these particular vulnerabilities. Which basically means that if you uh, go on and look on the internet into the CV vulnerabilities, you will actually uh, know how to exploit it, right? So you can see here uh, the the more uh, details and description about uh, this vulnerability, uh, the one that I clicked on, the Pro FTPD. Okay. Now this was uh, about the scanning using OpenMass. So if you don't, uh, uh, if you cannot uh, purchase a licensed version of Nesis, for instance, I will strongly recommend that um, the GVM or uh, the OpenMass is a very good tool for vulnerability scanning. Uh, it's completely open source, and uh, uh, you know, it's uh, you can present the reports. So these reports, I suggest. Uh, the one that we are looking at can be downloaded into the PDF as well, and then you can present it to your uh, manager, right? So, so here also you can see the vulnerabilities uh, in a very nice format. So uh, you can go to the dashboard as well, and you can see here uh, the number of the systems that have been scanned and the status of each of them. So it's a pretty good uh, tool for vulnerability scanning. Uh, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, if you face any problems, so remember that in OpenMass, uh, you may encounter problems uh, sometimes uh, with the installation process. So if you face any issues, please write me into the comments and, uh, and uh, I'll try to help you out, right? Another thing that I just wanted to mention here is that uh, somehow, if the um, if you are not able to sync your uh, uh, the NVTs, uh, for instance, or the uh, the GVM data or SCAP or SCURT, then you can also assert and you can also um, do it in the command line. So I'm just going to show you how you can um, 
how you can uh, sync your uh, GBM data through the command line, just in case if if you run into a problem where it's not able to sync. So this is the command where greenbone dash feed dash sync hyphen hyphen type GVM uh, D underscore data. So this command is going to sync uh, the GVM data. Um, then you can also sync your uh, scap and cert as well in the same way. You just have to replace uh, this with the scap and cert, right? So just in case, if your uh, GVM data or cert or scap is not able to sync, uh, you can always do that into the command line as well, right? I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, please write me into the comments um, if you want me to make a video on a certain tool or if you run into any technical issues with the with the GVM. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.